Carrie, thank you. The debate over which way toddlers and babies' car seats should face now heads to the state capitol. Rose Schmidt shares the national guidelines providing best practices. Rose? National stats show car crashes are the leading cause of death for children between the ages of 1 to 13. That's why health care professionals and law, law enforcement agencies reinforce information about proper installation. And state lawmakers hope a new proposal could make a difference. Strapping in those tiny limbs... And here we go. ...is a necessity. But it's a step met with uncertainty from parents about the right way to do it. When do I move them out of my infant seat and into the next step? Um, when can I turn them forward facing? Child safety educator Sherry Faust is the one to ask. Guidelines from the American Academy of Pediatrics and the National Transportation Safety Board both recommend keeping children in rear-facing seats as long as possible. Everybody's in a hurry to move them from one stage to the next, and we really want them to stay in that stage as long as we can, per the manufacturer's um, recommendations as far as height and weight limits. Pediatricians say facing the back of the car can mean an infant survives a car crash that they wouldn't survive facing the front. After that baby's born and you have that baby in that car seat for the first time, it's a slow drive of your life. In Wisconsin, current law only requires babies less than a year old or who weigh less than 20 pounds to face the back. But state representative Chris Taylor is trying to amend that. What we really need to do is just make a very small change in our state law to say at least keep kids until they're age two we're facing. Her bipartisan bill is backed by groups like Safe Kids Wisconsin and the state's chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics. They say science around child safety is constantly changing. Usually by this stage they're able to kind of climb up themselves. As people like Faust want to help parents sort out the safest information for their children. They are safer rear facing as long as they can than when they have to move forward facing, moving, staying in that five point harness as long as they can, and then lastly that booster seat. The bill was introduced in a previous session and passed the state assembly, but it's stalled in the Senate. The proposal is still in its early stages now, but it's circulating for more lawmakers to co-sponsor it. Rose, thank you.